a lovely tale about a boy, a dog, and a cow who set out to find Mother Nature in hopes of saving their farm animal friends. What will happen to you, Cornelia? Will you be taken away in a truck too? Mother Nature's Secret, a charming vegan tale by Marion Haley Moss, part one of six. Continue watching to find out more. Joyous viewers, I am V from Verdant Olak, also known as Vietnam. The kind-hearted Olak Seas, or Vietnamese, people appreciate your enthusiastic support and offer their love. Welcome to part one of a six-part series, Mother Nature's Secret, a charming vegan tale by Marion Haley Moss. Acclaimed American actress, author, and humanitarian Marion Haley Moss began her career in the early 1960s as a stage actress in Shakespearean festivals. By the mid-60s, she had settled in New York. She immersed herself in the city's innovative theater scenes, performing on Broadway and numerous avant-garde productions. Marion appeared in four major motion pictures and played supporting roles alongside Hollywood stars such as Helen Hayes and Jimmy Stewart. She received acclaim for her signature role in the 1970 movie Lovers and Other Strangers as Brenda, an idealistic spiritual seeker the New York Times wrote. The wacky Khalil Gibran quoting character Brenda succeeds because she is so engagingly portrayed. Lovers and Other Strangers won the 1971 Oscar for Best Original Song, which was composed by Fred Carlin who later also composed the music for Supreme Master Ching Hai's award-winning oratorio, The Peace Seeker. Through her acting, Marion Haley Moss nurtured and spoke to people's emotional and psychological needs. A growing urge to pursue a more spiritual lifestyle and serve humanity inspired her to become a psychotherapist. She also felt great compassion for the animals and spent time rehabilitating injured birds in the city. In 1993, Marion's spiritual search accumulated when she received initiation into the Kuan Yin Method from Supreme Master Ching Hai. She currently lives, works, and practices the Kuan Yin Method in Manhattan with her three precious rescue kitties, Peaky, Audie, Eddie, and a loving foster cat, Krista. Alongside her humanitarian efforts, Marion has also written a number of books. Dreams Need Feet to Walk On, published in 2013, is a novel about her life's journey and those of her animal friends. Together with the Parisian artist Marc Chalvin, Marion Haley Moss has also published 11 children's books and three coloring books about the animals. The animal books share her philanthropic and vegan perspective. Most recently, they released Mother Nature's Secret, which Marion co-wrote with Chris Stover. Today, we are very honored to have the multi-talented Marion Haley Moss with us to give some insight into her work and how her writing career began. Hi, I'm Marion Haley Moss, and I'm blessed and thrilled and happy to share with you my passion, my books. This is the first book I wrote, and from then on, uh, we've done 12. And they're all about animals, and uh, we'll talk to you a little bit about them. Thank you for being with us today, Marion. Yeah. Can you tell us about how you started writing books? Since I've been um, meditating, I've become vegan, of course, and much more aware of what happens to animals in the world. It's like you have to do something with this knowledge and you want to tell people about it so I can't dance it, can't act it, so I write it. And you, you learn as you go along. How I found the illustrator, I googled. <laughs> and I googled um, children's illustrators and I saw Mark Chalvin and immediately I knew that was the one. And so he's done Randall, that was the first one, and he's done all the books. Here, it's about Mother Nature, isn't that sweet? 
He's, he's marvelous. There's something about Mark Chalvin. You know he's French, and English is not his first language, and I've never met him. But we do all our things. So all our communication is through the script, and it's like you plant seeds, and he, like a, a flower, blossoms into these wonderful images that make the meaning even more dimensional. So in a way, he writes the books too. This is the, one of the characters, the uh, protagonist, asks uh, Mother Nature if she could change all the farm animals to cats and dogs. She said, yes, I can do that, but she has a better idea. She's going to tell them her secret. So this is an image of a farm being with cats and dogs. And this is when they first meet Mother Nature. So I'm going to read to you later from the book, and so you get the whole story. Before we continue, We'll take a few moments for some uplifting messages here on Supreme Master Television. 